This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, and especially at the moment, I do hope you're well. Um, I've been getting a little bit funky as it happens. Um, I've been listening to some Isley Brothers, you know, Summer Breeze and that kind of thing. Maybe it's the hot weather and uh, whatever it is, it's sort of rubbed off a little bit on me playing and I put this little kind of jazz fusion funk kind of solo together and I thought I'd share it with you. Um, here's the solo, then straight after you're going to hear a little bit of an explanation about what was kind of going through my head as I was putting it all together. Here it is. Okay, let's take a look at the key of B flat. Here it is, and there are the chords in that key. And what we're going to do is focus on this chord, the C minor. And the way we're going to do that is by uh, playing a little bass line centered around that chord, which will sound like this. Then over the top of that bass line, I'm just going to play some chords, the E flat, F and B flat chords that you can see in there. And that's going to sound like this. And that pretty much makes up the entire um, A section of the chord sequence, if you want to call it that. But there is an A section, which you've just heard, and a B section. So let's have a look at what's going on there. Essentially, what we do is we move everything down to semitones. So we go from the key of B flat to the key of A flat. And there you can see the chords in that. And I'm going to do much the same sort of thing here. But this time, I'm going to focus on the D flat chord by once again playing a bass line centered around that chord. And over the top of that, I'm going to do a little two chord vamp on the E flat and F minor, which sounds like this. And that's what's going on in the B section of the chord sequence. And if we just take an overview of what's going on here, when I um, take the key of B flat and focus on the C minor chord that's in that key, we're in the C Dorian mode. And when I focus on the D flat chord that occurs in the key of A flat, then I'm in the D flat Lydian mode. And all I've got to do to play lead guitar over all of this is when I'm in the C Dorian section, as you can see, C Dorian is the key of B flat major. So I'm just going to use a B flat major. 
major scale. And then when it flips over to the D flat Lydian, well, if you remember, we just moved everything down two frets. So the same licks, the same patterns, the same shapes, the same everything just moved down two frets. And because of the uh, filter that you're hearing through of the chord sequence, you will kind of hear that as a D flat Lydian mode kind of thing. So that's what I'm doing in the solo. And if you grab the tab, you can see it all in exquisite detail. And as always, the full tab for that solo, along with that little clip you've just seen there, where I'm demonstrating it and explaining it, uh, along with, um, you know, a jam track to play along with, that's all going to be up on my Patreon page in the next couple of days, as soon as I've had a chance to kind of uh, beaver away in Guitar Pro and get it all tabbed out for you. Just a special little thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you, everyone who's supported me over there. It's meaning that I can, you know, spend more time time doing what I love which is making these videos and kind of sharing things with you so thank you so much it is truly appreciate, appreciate it I'm really really grateful to each and every one of you uh, now you'll have noticed in that solo that I did go a little bit twiddly widdly in a couple of places and uh, how I do that is another entire video in itself and thankfully I've already made that video so if you're looking for some guidance on how to throw a little bit of speedy stuff into your solos then the link is down there in the description. I also kind of uh, went a little bit outside in one particular place there deliberately kicking over the apple cart as it were in a musical sort of manner and um, it's called outside playing and I tend to do it a little bit in, in such circumstances and there's a little bit of a guide on how you can do that just introducing some dangerous licks as I called the video uh, on that topic and that video is also linked in the description down below if you're looking for some ways of adding a little bit of madness to your solos and that is pretty much all I've got for you today folks I hope you've enjoyed the video found it useful informative educational and maybe a little bit entertaining and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and why not give me a like as well if you haven't already done so thank you so much i'll just mention uh it's saturday today but you all know about the uh, friday live stream uh 5 p.m every friday 5 p.m uk time uh we all sit around on a live stream and have a beer and a chat and um just a great way of uh, kicking off the weekend love to see many of you there and if you're thinking of um, a fret zealot tuition aid then use the discount code you can see on screen right there and you'll get a little bit of money knocked off thanks to me you're yeah, welcome uh, purchase link once again is down in the description and with that i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you for watching thank you so much for your time and i do look forward to seeing you all again next time around stay safe folks stay well and above all stay sane bye for now